So what are some of the medications that we have available? As you know, medication comes in pill form or it comes as injectable forms. So let's review these briefly. There are about seven groups or classes of such medication. The first one is a biguanide or metformin as it's called in North America. This is a medicine that reduces the production of glucose by your liver while also in part reducing insulin resistance. The second group of agents are called sulfonylureas. These are medicines that stimulate the production of insulin by your pancreas. And the agents that we have available include glyburide or diabeta, glyclozide or diamicron, and amaryl or glimepiride. Thirdly, there's a group that's called meglitonides or glinides. These are very short-acting agents that are very similar in a way to the sulfonylureas in that they stimulate your own pancreas to produce insulin and lower blood sugar in that manner. These are short-acting agents that are taken before eating. We have two available in Canada, one called gluconorm or repaglinide, and the other called Starlix or neteglinide. The fourth set of agents we have available are called thiazolidine dions. That long name is abbreviated as TZDs. We have in Canada two of these agents available. One is called Avandia or rosiglitazone, and the other Actos or pioglitazone. These agents reduce insulin resistance, particularly acting on muscles and fat cells, and are very effective in lowering blood sugar. The fifth group are what's called alpha-glucosidase inhibitors. In Canada, there's only one agent, which is called Glucobe. It was formerly called Prandase, and its generic name is Acarbose. This agent delays the breakdown of starch and carbohydrate and sugars in your intestine and therefore delays any rise in blood sugar after a meal. It's taken just before a meal as well. The next group of agents available in Canada are called incretins. This new group of medications has two actions. Firstly, they stimulate hormones that increase insulin production by your pancreas. And as well, they reduce glucose production from your liver by inhibiting the hormone glucagon. There are two classes of these drugs. One is a pill form and the other is by injection. Now the pill form are called DPP-4 inhibitors, and there are two available in Canada, one called Genuvia or Cytogliptin, and the other called Onglyza or Saxagliptin. These are both taken by pill form, either once or perhaps twice a day. And then there are the injectable forms of the incretins. They're called GLP agonists. There are two available in North America, one called Bieta or Exenatide and the other called Victosa or Liraglutide. These are taken by injection either twice a day in the case of Bieta, once a week in the form of Bieta LAR, which is also called Bidurion, and in the case of Victosa, it's taken once a day. Again, these have dual mode of action and they are very effective agents and of importance, they don't cause a low blood sugar and they produce significant weight loss. And finally, of course, we have insulin. Insulin is always taken by injection because it's destroyed if you try to eat it by the acid of the stomach. 
and insulin controls the entry of glucose into most of the cells of the body.